But who were your favorites? What, what stuck out for you? For me, I think the teacher was one of my favorites. Kevin, um, the teacher in Louisville? The one who, who said that he has the kids start with a mantra before he opens the class of, I'm not my neighborhood, I'm yeah. not my mother, and I'm not my father. Yeah. And actually that ties into one of the questions because he talks about America being a land of opportunity, but he says sometimes some opportunities are swayed more in favor toward others than than some of the children that he was dealing with. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, do you feel that the way things are now, it's almost similar to the British class system where there's less mobility than there was? You know, was? okay. There are clearly um, more privileged situations into which one can be born or, or find yourself living in. And clearly there is um, more opportunity for others according to those things, those aspects. However, personally, I, I mean, look, I'll, you know, my dad's not Kenneth Branagh and my mum's not Emma Thompson and I'm an actor, you know, and I'm sort of doing all right in these Hollywood hills and stuff. And my dad was a chef and my mum was a secretary, basically, <clears throat> and lived in little small towns in England at the end of the cul-de-sac with you know, Tupperware parties happening in 1977, thinking, is this it? Is it? Okay, interesting. <laughs> um, um, and um, I think it's easy um, for us at any time to sort of rest in a story that we create as individuals or as a neighborhood or as a city or as a society or a country or whatever and just say well this is my life and so it's not fair for me and you know it's all right for those people on the other side of the tracks and I think I mean every day is a bit of a miracle isn't it and I just think that if we think more about what is possible and we spend more time thinking about what we have therefore and then be grateful about that and therefore create a more positive sort of energy about ourselves because we're like oh I've got all my arms and legs that's fantastic it's a pretty good day actually I haven't got any nasty disease it's all right you know oh, I wish I had a bigger this or a better that or more of this but you know what in the meantime it's all right I'm quite happy I'm fortunate I'm breathing I'm living I'm seeing this whole like miraculous thing that's happening around me and then you just sort of feel a bit better and then I think there's a great propensity for sort of more positive things to come into your life as a result of just feeling better Whereas sort of sitting inside a story and going, oh, well, you know, my life is this and nothing's going to happen to me. And, you know, the whole like, oh, I should be so lucky and all that sort of stuff. You know, little declarations and statements that we say all the time, self-limitation. You know, you look at that and you think, well, now that's going to happen because you're thinking it. And that's your vibration now, you know. I don't want to get too sort of stars and moons about it, but I do think that what you, you, you create, what you think, it's kind of what you create because you're thinking it. So you're like, well, nothing's going to happen. Nothing good's going to happen around here, mate. Right. Well, that's that then. Nothing good's going to happen around here. But anything good can happen anywhere. You know, we tell ourselves that, you know, well, nothing good's going to happen around here, but it does happen. Good things do happen. And, you know, when Kevin, the teacher, talks about, you know, some, there's more opportunity for others than there are for, for others. Yeah, sure, there, there are. You can be born into certain situations where that can be the case, but there's no reason why, you know, you can't just step outside of the story that's going on around you, whether it's in your, in your mind or in your family or in your neighborhood, your, 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 your city, and just go, you know what? I'm stepping out of this. There's something better. Miracles happen every day, and I'm going to be one of them, you know? And um, I remember a very successful basketball player saying something like that to me once. He said he just looked around and went, you know what, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm, not I'm, I'm stepping outside of this story. And he became very successful. And um, I believe that if you believe it, anything can happen. But in, the, but in the meantime, just think to yourself, well, you know what, it's all right in the meantime, I have got my hands, my arm, whatever makes me happy is, is going on. I've got that, so thank you, cheers, appreciate it very much, but I wouldn't mind a bit of that, life would be nice if I could have a bit of that and I could be a service as well, and then you do that and then um, you feel better, and then you might make a few other people feel better as well along the way, so you know, anything's possible isn't it, if you want it to be. One other interview that I thought was interesting. God, did I sound like Billy Graham or something, was that a bit much? <laughs> no, 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 I, I get it, because a lot of do times, I, mean? I, I, I was reading something on Quora the other day, 
so much bad stuff happens sometimes when you're on a downturn and then you add alcohol to that whole thing and then the whole thing blows up and people were talking about losing their jobs and how it was like a spiral of negativity. And, and I do yeah. see that. It's just hard to see it when you're in that moment. I, I get it. It is hard very, to see it, you yeah. know. And, it, and I'm not saying it's easy to just sort of go... No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. I don't know. When I first came to Los Angeles, people were like, oh, it's very difficult, it's very competitive and all the rest of it. And I was thinking, well, I just happened to be here because of circumstance. And I was like, well, you know, yeah, okay, it's competitive and difficult and what have you, of course. But anyway, I'm here now, so should we, you know, let's see what we can go on. Oh, is that Beverly Hills? You know, just enjoy the experience, you know what I mean? Just see, there's always something good to experience around you. You know, there's always something good somewhere. Let's just look at that.